Hey, good morning everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy January 3rd. It's Daryl here. It's about 4 p.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. It's a rare afternoon video today. And as uh, I'm watching the snow come down here in this nice New England setting here, I've been going over, looking over some news this afternoon and I just wanted to talk to you guys about a few things. Now, as you guys, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know that uh, I am concerned about this Wednesday coming up. Um, I don't know how many of you are are familiar with TikTok, but there, there's a lot of nonsense on there to begin with. But there is an abundance of um, Trump supporters. Uh, I, I don't know what else to call them right now. Uh, it's using all sorts of threatening language and whatnot. Um, all sorts of Trump supporters talking about. The, apparently, they're they're all excited. Got their panties all in a bunch about going to Washington, D.C. this Wednesday. Okay, so as they're getting all excited to do this, the Washington, it's a big story today. The Washington Post has, uh, com has a, a telephone recording of Donald Trump and Sec Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffin Raffensperger. All right, remember when uh, it, it came out that Tr Trump tweeted that he talked to Raffensperger and... Uh, and, he, and and this is this is the thing too. Brad Raffensperger is still this little beaten puppy dog. He, if you talk to him to to this day, he still says, "I still support Donald Trump, but I, I'm not going to you know I'm not going to uh, I'm going to do the will of the people." In, in other words, he's not going to cheat. But that's what I'm, the point I'm coming up to. In this recording, the Washington Post has just came out today. Just came out Sunday, January third. Washington Post has a recording of a conversation between Donald Trump and Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger, where Trump is on the recording saying, tell, you know, alternately threatening Brad Raffensperger, kind of uh, coercing him, telling him uh, the people are going to be angry, uh, using you know, all sorts of tactics, a, a bully through and through. But here's the, here's the interesting part. Here is the interesting part. He's on a recording saying that Telling Brad Raffensperger that he needs to, quote, find, Brad Raffensperger needs to find 11,780 votes because that is one more than they need to win. That he needs to go find them. Because he, Trump's on the recording saying that he can't possibly have lost Georgia. I can't possibly have lost. Brad, you've got to find these votes. And then he's, he's in this recording. Kind of uh, coercing Brad into this, saying, "Look, you could you could say that," uh, and he go, Trump goes on to make up reasons as he's talking to Raffensperger on how he could kind of explain coming finding these eleven thousand seven hundred eighty votes. This this is your this is your stop the steal, your president here. You're 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 so wrong, your president that was so wrong. I mean, there, there's no other way to interpret this. He's on a recording saying, I can't possibly have lost. Brad, you've got to find these votes somehow. Saying that he has a, the specific number of votes. One more than the Democrats have so they can win. On a recording saying this. Okay? Come on, man. We knew Trump supporters, you guys knew. You guys, you guys have known this all along. Come on, there's no widespread fraud. Um, you guys, it, it's the same. It, it, all this year, since the COVID nineteen thing came out, you guys felt wrongfully somehow screwed over because the economy, the kind, the economy, and that that was the golden shining star in Trump's crown. The jewel in Trump's crown, and you knew that if he lost that, he he wouldn't get re-election. And everything's so unfair. Now here's you know what? Here is the thing. Back in January, it's not the COVID nineteen or the China virus that uh, that did away with him getting a second term. It's him. He could have been. He could have. He had the opportunity to make himself one of the best presidents in the history of the United States. It was all 
on his shoulders on how he handled this virus. And he chose he, he chose he chose what he always does. Blame the easy route, whatever is convenient for him. And then at the end, then pretty pretty soon he was just hands off. Hands off. That's the way he is now. As a matter of fact, just this morning, Sunday morning, just this morning, Trump is calling his own administration, the CDC, and his own administration fake news. He's, he's claiming because there's now uh, three, 350,000 dead Americans. It's just astounding how fast this, it's, 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 it's amazing how fast these numbers are going up. And just this morning, Sunday morning, instead of trying to help, because his Operation Warp Speed is a warp failure, one, not even 1.2 million people vaccinated, and his Warp Speed goal is 20 million. Uh, an abject failure. He could have been, he could have made himself the pre- one of the best presidents in United States history if he just gave a damn about the American people instead of his own selfish interests. He could have he could have made this a shining year for himself. He could have. It wasn't the COVID-19 virus that took him out. It was himself. We all know this. He does not have the aptitude for this job. We know that now. So as these Trump supporters gather in Washington, ready to do God knows what. The threats are unbelievable. Uh, uh, the, the threats are off the scale uh, of what they're they, they're willing to do. What they what they claim they're willing to do this Wednesday. And Trump is on record, basically saying there was no steal. There was no steal. He, he's just just like I said in the last video. It's just a bunch of whining, crying Trump supporters. Poor me, it's unfair. I should have won. You did a crummy job, and you got fired. That's the bottom line. All right, I'll be back with more. There's there's even more. There, there's another video that came out today about two Trump supporters on a plane last month. They got thrown off the plane. They wouldn't even leave the plane, so the entire plane had to be emptied to get them off. As they sat there chewing on an apple while all these passengers had to be cleared off the plane late, the canceled flights, and they're smiling on video as as they're forcing all their fellow passengers off the plane because they're too selfish to wear masks. And then they spew the N-word to uh, uh, two black women passing by. Wow. What what upstanding Americans these Trump supporters are. Man, the naked truth comes out. We need to find 11,780 votes. He's on he's on tape. No fake news here. All right. You guys have a good Sunday. I'll be back tomorrow with another video or later today.